to the second video it's Tyler here Tyler graphics and this video is going to be on masking and cropping a player out separating him from the background to stand out from the design so there's a couple ways you can do this first of all you can use the lasso come over here right click make sure it's on magnetic so it'll uh, just flow with the player zoom in to help you get the small details and you can really start anywhere I just choose any place I feel and then you just go along the border of him go along the outline and just keep on doing this through the whole way through and sometimes like you see here it'll mess up so you have to delete it and so what I do is I just go around like that and then come back and get the smaller stuff later or like right here I'll just try to make it as straight as I can but so this is the first way you can do it and you just go all the way around the player I'll just do something real quick here show you um, okay whatever it's not gonna be good but depends on what the um, picture is because sometimes this will work better the other method that I'll show you will work a lot better I'll show you in a couple minutes but let me just get him done finished first show you what it looks like it's not gonna be perfect because it's just a tutorial but I plan on just making a design out of this at the end and using it for whatever post on my website and social media and everything alright so then you just come back and click to connect it you right click and go down to layer via copy or you can just hit control J which is duplicating the layer oh, wait that didn't work oh wait there it goes okay so you can zoom out and then you can disable the background you can see he's um, he's cropped out of the picture and you can Come over here. You can add a gradient map or hue saturation, make the background different than what the player is in the foreground. So that's one way you can mask out somebody. Another way, which is a lot quicker, you come over to the magic wand over here, but instead of using that, you right click and then go over to quick selection. And you want to make sure up here it's on the plus sign. And you can make the brush or the size of the selection bigger and yeah this will go a lot quicker so what you do make sure it's on the plus and then you just come over here you click you can either hold which is what I do or you can just click different spots and it just basically uh, gets all the colors and all of the area that looks like the area you're clicking and it makes it as one so want to try to get all this I'm just so what I normally do with this is I just do the, like I go over real quick adding everything let me get his head and then you want to come over to the the minus one where you can subtract if you want to zoom in and then you want to subtract all the other areas that aren't with the player. There, it messed up there again. Go to the subtraction. And you can do this all the way around. Or if you don't want to use the subtraction tool, you can use lasso, but use the polygonal or however you say it but you wanna layer via copy and then disable the background this is what I do normally I use the quick selection and then do this after and then you just go around the areas you don't want and take them out so I'll do this and it's gonna take a while because all the spots and everything so I'll meet you when I'm done
Alright guys, I got most of it all done. I'm going to show you a couple things over here. Um, where the quick selection tool was, you can press W to go to it, or then you right click, then go to magic wand tool. And this tool will, you select an area wherever it is. Say I want to get rid of this black area in here. So I would click it, and then it selects all the black within where I clicked and you press delete and it deletes so this is nice if there's something real small like a single color like say this white or whatever you don't want you can delete that but again if there's a bunch of colors next to each other well didn't do it that time but say I select this well it's not doing it see like that it kinda takes some of its arm out so you don't want to use this all the time and plus it can have rough edges and I showed you you can use the lasso tool to take it all out you can use this or the magnetic one but but uh, yeah so you can delete this but sometimes you can use eraser you can just erase it make sure it's a hard brush you can go in and say that I made I made a mistake there and I was all finished done and I didn't realize it until the end so what you would do is you'd enable the background select the background go over to the polygon lasso lasso tool and then wherever your mistake was you want to go back over it with the background and copy it again so it starts with the NBA logo and goes up to the jersey and then you want to go around it make sure it's on the background layer right click layer via copy and you can disable the background and see that it's good if you disable this layer you can see your mistake so you want to make sure you go to the both parts you cropped out you can um, select layer 3 here and hold control or command on your keyboard and then select another layer right click and then go down to merge layers and then they'll become one so that's nice and I'm just gonna finish this stuff real quick so yeah this is just the basics of cropping out a player and if you don't want to mask them out say you're too lazy or sometimes you just don't want to I, I've done that before you can just go on your browser and Google uh, the player's name and then after that type in PNG and a PNG is basically what this is right here you can see the checkerboard in the back this is what a PNG is this whole thing is a JPEG and a PNG just means that this is the only layer or a thing that's gonna show so I can show you that here real quick But sometimes, like for Kimba Walker, since he's not too much of a popular player and they just got the new uniforms last year or a couple years ago, then they may not have a bunch of PNGs for him. So sometimes you can get lucky for players like Carmelo Anthony or the popular ones, but we can try it. Computer's running slow right now. I'll wait for it. So yeah, I think this is pretty good masking. You just want to make sure zoom up, make sure you get a few minor details. Um, so yeah. And then the worst thing to mask are dreads and like beards and afros and stuff because can see like when I disable this it looks choppy right here so you gotta kind of I don't know you can use a clone stamp tool press s make the uh, soft brush make it small hold alt and then drag it over but I mean sometimes it works but sometimes not uh, that should be fine for now give a walker PNG there we go 
see if we get lucky with anyone. Go over to images. And for PNGs, you don't want to go over to search tools like the first video and adjust the image size because um, PNGs is just the player. It's not, it doesn't have a background in it too. So yeah, see there's not too much. Bobcats, Connecticut, but yeah, so sometimes you'll get lucky. Like LeBron, there's a lot, especially on the Heat, James Harden, and all these people. So, yep, this is the end of the first video, and I hope you guys like it. Learn you, hope you learned a few new ways to mask and crop players out. So, thanks for watching. Next video will be, uh, I think it'll, I'll probably do adjustments with gradient maps and photo filters and everything. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Thanks.